Okay, how are you guys doing? Um, today, I'm just here to present to you my senior project. Um, for my senior project, I selected to create a automatic uh, HVAC system. Um, for those of you who don't know, HVAC is heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Um, for my project, I'm going to create a model home. Uh, it's going to be it's going to consist of four different rooms. Um, my overall goal is to independently control the temperature in each of these rooms. Uh, I'm going to accomplish this by applying uh, HVAC fundamentals, sentient controls, which you can uh, get that experience if you go through the RL program we have here. Um, and I'm also going to use C Sharp. Um, some of the HVAC fundamentals I'm going to be applying are uh, airflow, temperature, humidity, and pressure. Um, these are always these are controlled out in the industry in order to maintain certain air qualities that are specified by the whoever is a customer. Uh, to control these fundamentals, I'm going to be using a DL06 as my main controller. Uh, this will control the outputs, output devices on my system. Uh, RTDs are going to be used to measure the temperature on each side of each of the rooms. My humidity sensors, uh, I haven't actually determined which ones I'm going to use yet. Uh, for, I'm going to have four DC XL fans. Those are going to be placed at the lo uh, location for vents in each, each of the rooms. Uh, in order to, for my main supplier, I'm going to have a centrifugal fan. And uh, the difference between the centrifugal and the XL fan is that the centrifugal allows a higher pressure buildup. And that will allow me to uh, have the airflow, have a consistent airflow throughout the ductwork. Um, in order to condition my air, I'm going to be using a Peltier to cool it. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, a Peltier is simply a device that can either heat or cool, depending on the voltage polarity applied to it. Um, for my heating device, I'm going to use a heating element, probably from like a toaster oven. Uh, the reason for that is just because it's going to be more efficient and allow me to control it a, lot, a little easier. Um, C Sharp, uh, which you guys will probably get introduced to, uh, MA3311 will be the course number. Uh, it's going to be used as my HMI, which is a human machine interface. Uh, it's, the user is going to input input their set point, and that, that is going to be sent to the PLC. Uh, then next, I want to display the overshoot. Uh, the overshoot is simply you're going to have a desired temperature, and then you're going to have an actual temperature, and it's going to be displaying that difference. Um, here you can see a uh, brief plot diagram. Uh, the user is going to input their desired set point for a specific room. It's going to then be uh, sent from C-sharp to the DL6 PLC. Uh, my goal is to uh, accomplish this wirelessly using an Ethernet card on the PLC. Um, it will then begin to measure the current temperature of that room and determine whether or not it needs to be, the air needs to be conditioned to meet the temp point temperature. Um, here is what my HVAC process is going to look like. Uh, I'm gonna have at the top you see OA. That's gonna be that stands for outside air. It's gonna be an outside air intake. It's gonna be either heated or cooled, and it's gonna be sent to that uh, symbol here is a centrifugal fan. It's gonna, that that uh, main supplier is gonna be sent down here to the, each of the rooms. Uh, the ductwork's gonna be scaled down, and here we have each room contains of a supply air vent and a return air vent. Uh, the return air is just to allow proper circulation. Uh, each room is going to consist of a temperature and a uh, humidity sensor. And then it's going to be returned and recycled. Um, there's a diagram kind of help you get a better visual of what my project is going to look like. Uh, it's, as you can see, the four rooms and the supply and the return air vent. Um, for my project, I think the most difficult part is going to be the actual in, uh, independently controlling each temperature. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Anything related to the four year or two year? Wait, so are you an HVAC major or? I am not. Um, the reason why I chose this project is because, as Ms. Dr. Rankin had mentioned, uh, over summer I got into uh, Schneider Electric. And the department that they sent me to was uh, their building automations department. So I'm kind of hoping to get a job with them after I graduate. Oh, so this is directed to what they do. Okay. Yeah. So even though like you're not that specific major, your final project would be like 
anything as long as you're using like, like yeah the electronics part. Yeah, because I'm still uh, even though it's the concept of the project is HVAC, uh -huh. the way I'm controlling it has to do with uh, my the two year RO degree, uh -huh. and I'm using C sharp, which you go which you uh, apply during the four year. Gotcha. Yeah. So because I'm also I'm still applying that stuff, mm -hmm. it still works in the final project, senior project. Yeah. So. I mean, it's a good idea. Like, if you, by the time you're a senior, if you just, you're still deciding on a project and you have a, if you have an internship somewhere, mm -hmm. it's a good idea to focus on what they do. That way, if you want to work there when you leave, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but they don't hire me. It's kind of like a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way he's running in your own house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you have hamsters or something, man, they'll be <laughs> set. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You'll be living the dream life. Living the dream, yeah, in the HVAC controlled hamster uh, cage. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, so this will be ready when? Probably the open house in the spring? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like I told Mr. West, so it'll be done before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe by Christmas. Maybe by New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions for Geo? Yeah, how are you going to build it and like present it on like a small enough but big enough scale? Um, Dr. Rankin actually provided me with some uh, pieces of wood and uh, I had built the structure uh, for it. It's only... Um, I think it said it was like 18 inch. Yeah, it's only, it's 24 by 18. So it's, uh, it's gonna fairly small enough to fit on one of those, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those black cars that people, some teachers uh, roll yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. it'll be small to fit on one of those. Probably have it set up in the senior, senior lab. Yeah. yeah, I kind of, I scaled everything down just so it can fit in here, mm -hmm. so, because like I said, the main, the main goal is just to automate it, not to like design a 100% yeah. efficient right. HVAC system. Now what if like one of the room's temperature went, I guess like, because of like, say like in a house, if maybe it wasn't in the middle of the house, so it would be warmer, it's so, like on the, in another room it might be colder so the temperature is different. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to want to run air, wouldn't the air, or say you wanted to run heating through it, wouldn't all the rooms get warmer if you're trying to run heat to one room? It, it will get warmer slightly. Uh, if I wouldn't want to make this more efficient, I would use dampers. Yeah. Uh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking into that. Well, because I would have to create my own type of damper. Mm -hmm. So it, the difficulty of that would be probably pretty high. So for now, what I was going to do is use just uh, the axile fans, uh -huh. and I'm basically going to control the uh, voltage being applied in that. So it'll be, I can decrease or increase the speed of the fan. That way, less air will be directed into the room. Uh -huh. So for right now, that's the way I'm going to handle it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not going to be 100% efficient. Right. But, but it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll still be pretty cool. Yeah. Because like, like I said, like I, they don't sell dampers that small. Yeah. So... <laughs> so <laughs> I'll have to like create my own. Uh -huh. <coughs> Anything else? Okay, well thanks, Joe.